Let's satisfy our curiosity with this one, folks. Okay, folks, as you know, we are here to review the Gurkha Bourbon Collection. This is Simply Bean Shipley Cigar and Pipe, your unconventional guide to cigar and pipe culture, a real channel for real enthusiasts. Now, this cigar is, of course, manufactured by Gurkha Cigar Group. The bourbon collection comes in both Mandaro in the Churchill size and Connecticut in the Toro size and is infused with Hartfield and Company bourbon whiskey. The bourbon collection is a medium bodied cigar with hints of coca and nuts. The Mandaro wrapper is the perfect marriage with sweetness of the aged bourbon straight out of bourbon country, Kentucky. That, of course, comes from the Gurkha website. The Vitolas, we have a Churchill, uh, seven and a quarter by 52, retails for approximately 12.50. The Toro Natural Connecticut, which is a $10 and it's a six by 50. And the Corona Natural, which is a five by 42 at approximately $8 retail. The wrappers Connecticut, the binder is Dominican filler, Dominican and origin Dominican Republic. In the package. Now, when I first opened the tube, I got a very good, not overpowering whiff of the bourbon, and that is predominant in the air as you smoke the cigar. The wrapper feels hydrated. It's a little thick and, and squishy. It's definitely not sticky or such. It just feels like the wrapper has more substance to it, which is what you'd kind of expect with a infused cigar. Now let's do the video review. Hey folks, take a look at this stick. It is the Gurkha Bourbon. Um, we're going to be looking at doing the Churchill here, which would be in the Mandoro wrapper. Right when we open this, we get a very good, pleasant smell of aged bourbon. And the stick, of course, produces the same flavor. A little bit of earthiness, but mostly bourbon. Um, we're going to go ahead and cut this guy and get it lit. Now, for those of you um, that are Gurkha fans, you know that they do several types of infused cigars. This one has been around, I believe, since 2016. Now, on the cold draw before the lighting, I'm going to get a lot of just earthiness and bourbon and a touch of vanilla that's going to come through here. And then we're going to get this cigar lighted. Now, Gurkha kind of made... Um, a good portion of its reputation on infused cigars. Some of the first ones that it came out with were infused. And, you know, I just kind of expected, I don't know what I expected. I kind of hoped that with it being something that they supposedly had perfected, that we'd get a little bit better quality of the actual cigar. But it's decent. It, it's not horrible, but it's just kind of like a, a plain Jane cigar overall. Now the outside looks very well constructed but as we smoke the cigar you're gonna see that the ash is not consistent. The burn is definitely not consistent. Consistent. I believe that I had to touch it up what four maybe five times um, during the process just to keep the burn going evenly. The smoke that came both through the draw and through the tip was inconsistent at times. It just got super restrictive. I'm going to guess that the bourbon infusion produced some blockage as it heated up, which then required that I purge the cigar or blow back through it to kind of try to clear things up so that I can then get enough smoke and flavor to come through. So that was a bit of a challenge, but the taste of the cigar was pleasant. It wasn't strong. Um, the smell was a lot stronger than what the flavor that comes through the cigar is. You just get this touch of bourbon and vanilla at the beginning, a little bit of undertone of earthiness. Um, it goes primarily vanilla in the middle, a little bit less bourbon. And as we get to the end of it in the final third, it goes back to a little bit more present bourbon and that vanilla fades down into the background. Uh, 
it's not an inexpensive cigar, but it's not a expensive one either. It's right there in the middle, ranging from in the $12 range down to the $8 range, depending on which of the three sizes that you pick. Um, I had just really hoped that I would get more. Um, the ash there, as you can see, is a, almost as long as it's going to get before it breaks up. And you already saw where it's starting to run in a couple places. I'm not going to um, draw this out and uh, give you a super boring uh, time having to watch me smoke this whole cigar. So I will draw this to a close here in a few minutes. Um, I think you'll like it just to experience it. And if you want to do more of a novelty cigar approach when you're hanging out with people, it's a good choice. Um, but it's not one that I'm going to go back to. And it's definitely not one to go out and purchase a box of. So thank you for um, watching this video with me. And let's get back into the review. Before the light, like I stated earlier, there is a very nice bourbon flavor, um, a little bit of hint of butter, and that's probably pretty much about it that I got from, from the cold draw. The flavors that I had, uh, again recapping, the mainly it was sweet and earthy um, with uh, bourbon very dominant at the beginning and the end and not so much in the middle. But it was in the middle that we got that vanilla flavoring, which was a very nice change when you went from the buttery to the vanilla and then back to the buttery. The draw and burn was a big problem. It was very inconsistent, as you saw in the video, and it required several touch-ups. The draw just was super, super difficult. Um, there were several times I had to purge the cigar, which is blowing back through the cigar to try to clear any blockages from any buildup from inside, just to get it to continue to burn and, and give me a good amount of smoke. Um, was not super happy about that. Now this cigar is a decent cigar. It would be great in the setting of sharing, uh, gathering type of events, having a few people around, um, watching a football game, something like that. This is not a good cigar for every day or important occasion settings. It definitely won't overpower a new smoker, but even experienced consumers are going to enjoy just the uniqueness of it. I do recommend you try this one for the experience. And here are my ratings on a scale of one to 10, of course, 10 being high. The build was a six, the draw was a four, the flavor was a five, the smoothness of the finish was a five, and the consistency was a three. Be on the lookout, um, if it's not up already at the time that you watch this, for our tobacco history video on Gurkha. goes over the troubled and acclaimed history that is Gurkha cigar. Um, it's quite enjoyable. I think you'll, you'll like it. Uh, like always, please subscribe and like this video. It definitely helps me to keep making these. And I will see you next time.